The amount of time your child spends on a screen negatively impacts their ability to learn to read. By screens, I mean phones, TVs, computers, killing zombies, watching an educational video. It's all screen time. I'm going to give you evidence that screen time matters, especially for dyslexic, ADHD, and neurodiverse children. But I want you to know why I would even do that. Because I want you to admit there's a problem before we solve it. I want to show you the problem. I want you to convince you of a problem. And then in the next video, I'm going to show you how to reduce screen time. This video is about looking at the science to understand why screen time has such a negative impact. There are studies behind this that show that the brain of your child will actually physically change the structure of the brain. I'm going to quote directly from the studies and there'll be links on my site to these studies. This is from Dr. Howard Krauss, an associate professor in the neuropsychology department at the Kennedy Krager Institute and in the psychiatry and behavioral sciences department at John Hopkins University School of Medicine. They found this, the connectivity of brain regions known to be critical for reading were impacted by excessive screen time. The imaging or MRI tested resting state connectivity between brain regions known to be critical to reading and cognition. Listen to the summary of this study. It's lengthy and it's involved and I just want you to get the summary. Brain images of the children who had higher reported screen time engagement showed lower connectivity between the regions related to reading. To go on a little more detail, it impacted the structure of white matter. Screen time is literally changing the way these children's brains look in an MRI. That matters and it matters to reading acquisition, learning to read. Dr. Horace Krauss summarized part of her research as saying this, research is now beginning to uncover clues suggesting that screen time itself may interfere with reading processes. Now that's particularly important for parents of dyslexic, ADHD, or neurodiverse children. Let me tell you why. The dyslexic brain literally looks different in MRIs, particularly when it comes to white matter and connectivity. This is, I'm gonna read from just one study. Many people with dyslexia also have less white matter in the same area than average readers. So these are children that are already reading below grade level, which is important because more white matter is correlated with increased reading. Having less white matter could lessen the ability or efficiency of the region of the brains to communicate with one another. So communicate and connectivity is something you hear a lot. And in the studies that show increased screen time, you see less connectivity. And in the dyslexic brain, you see less connectivity between regions. So what I submit to you is, why are we allowing our kids to participate in something that decreases the connectivity in parts of the brain that they're already having decreased activity in? In other words, screen time messes up a region of the brain that already has anomalous, their word, unusual white matter and gray matter structure. And it's the same with ADHD. There's a pattern here. I'm just going to summarize the study. Anomalous white matter development in ADHD. Study after study find anomalous white matter development. Anonymous means unusual. So here is the riddle then, right? Here's what here's what's happening. We have children that already have brains structured differently. Not worse, not better, right? Edison got kicked out of school in third grade. He he was a little different. The school said he was addled. That was their way of saying he's not smart enough to go to public school, right? Edison, Einstein couldn't put language together. Albert Einstein could not put language together. Nouns and verbs and was called Der Deppi in Germany, right? The stupid one when he was in Austria. That was Einstein. His brain was structured different. They actually looked at it. It's structured different. So here we have children that have brains structured differently right? They're engaging in activities that negatively impact their already impacted brain. And I'm seeing this. I've been working with kids since 1990. I'm seeing this. I'm seeing this with the children I work with in my consulting business. My online course is specifically geared towards meeting the needs of these children that are literally getting their brains cooked by excessive screen time. You can see the difference. And it's so profoundly negatively impactful 
of children that are neurodiverse and already have, to quote, anomalous white matter development. So I want to sell you on this idea, people. Listen, I'm going to give you a solution in the next video, but there are study after study after study, which tells us something we kind of already know, right? Like, why do we need studies to tell us that kids going for five hours a day Why do we need to study for that? We see these kids out and around. They're walking around the mall. Their faces are blank. Their affect is blank. They're, 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 not, they're not healthy, right? So much screen time. It impacts reading. So part of the solution to your child, if he's three grade levels behind, of course, is all the, everything you're doing, hopefully with phonics and, and, and all, everything you do. But part of the solution may be just reducing screen time. And you're like, Keith, it's not that easy. I know. Next video, I'll show you. I wanted you to see there's a scientific basis. Their brains are actually changing, physically changing. And I want you to see that there's a problem. And then in the next video, please subscribe. And in the next video, I'm going to show you a solution how to reduce that screen time. If you know someone that would benefit from this video, please share it with them. Please leave me some comments. Do you believe excessive gaming, screen time, and consuming of media is as damaging as I'm saying it is and the studies are saying it is? Save our children. They're turning into zombies.